here. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are my subscribers or that follow me, hope everybody's doing well. And if you just stumbled on me, my name is Joe and I do a lot of seasonal decorating and some other kinds of decorating and stuff like that. Yeah, this old man does that kind of stuff. Uh, I know you're not used to seeing that, but uh, I do enjoy it. It's kind of like a therapy for me. Uh, it makes me relax and takes my mind off of all the pressing issues uh, that are part of my everyday life. Uh, so uh, I'm starting my fall 2020 series, uh, and I don't know if you caught, I had my preliminary plans. The last video I did was what I, I had drawn out, what I'm planning to do for fall this year, or what I would like to do for fall this year. Um, and I'm starting to do little things around the house, getting ready for it. I, I haven't put anything out yet. It's still too early, but I'm getting ready. Um, for those of you that know me, that little hutch that was in the uh, family room, I refreshed it, I added legs to it, I raised it up, and I put a new stain on it, and I moved it into the living room over here. And um, if from days gone by, I don't know if you remember, uh, I had a piece once that I had a village for Christmas bursting out of that piece. I redid that whole piece, I restained it and got it ready. This little cherub over here, I just redid the stand uh, for him. He, it had like a kind of like a beige, kind of a marbly looking stand, and I painted it all white. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be showing you is two different projects that I worked on. One of them is uh, a relief art mirror, and relief art means that it's raised off of the canvas, or in this case, it's raised off of the mirror. So I'm gonna show you how I did that with a hot glue gun and also uh, a fall uh, wall art, which I'm not using for the wall, I'm gonna lean it against something, but it was something, it's kind of country looking, but I had been using it in my snowman vignettes for Christmas, and I'm redoing it for fall, I'm adding uh, scarecrow pumpkins and whatnot in that. So that's what this video is all about. Those two projects that I did, I'll give you a quick overview of how I did it, and I hope you'll enjoy that. Like always, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It would help with my channel. Uh, subscribe, please, so you don't miss any of my full stuff that I'm gonna be doing. And uh, if you wanna follow me on Facebook, my Facebook is Designs by Joe. And I just started an Instagram to Designs by underscore Joe. Okay, everybody, so let's get into this video. Okay, so this is my project for today. And as you can see, it's a mirror that had this uh, outside uh, area that was painted, or I guess um, kind of, a, I don't know how they adhered it, but it's uh, kind of like a rough kind of a finish. But you can see what happened was from cleaning, I kind of rubbed off uh, it had a little bit of spots on it, and it, they kind of rubbed off. The, the actual paint came rubbing off of the mirror. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to use the hot glue gun, and I'm going to make a relief piece of artwork on all of these flowers and leaves. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that in one second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering in with the glue gun on all of these uh, florals here. Now I'm not going to do all of this because it's going to be too much. And actually, I don't know if you really can't see it. I did this whole side already. But the, the challenge is that I really don't know what it's going to look like until I put the paint on it. But, you know, it's worth a try. And um, I'm actually preparing for... Um, the wall relief uh, artwork that I'm going to be doing for the living room. But I thought I would give this a try. So what I'm doing is, as you can see, I'm just following the lines of these um, right up here now. I'm doing these buds. And um, I'm going to basically determine where I think I want my artwork to be especially when it gets into this very complicated area over here. You know, I mean, I guess you could fill it in, uh, but um, I, 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 to me, I think it's going to look a little bit jumbled. I've never done this before, you know, this kind of artwork before, uh, and it, it's just a trial for me. 
So hopefully it's going to work out. So I'm going to continue down this whole side over here and uh, I'll, I'll pick you back up again when I have gotten down to the end part over there. Okay, everybody? So here goes, I'm gonna to try to paint it. I have my paint here and um, I don't know, let's see what it's gonna look like. I, I don't know and uh, we're gonna find out together. Can you see it? I don't know if uh, it's showing up too great, but. Let me do a little bit more and then I'll try to come in close for you. And um, so anyway, I'm going to put the white on here and then I'm going to make a determination whether I want to add some color on. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Like I said, we're doing this together. So tell me what you think I should have did. Or what I know somebody out there is cringing because you're saying I'm doing this wrong. And I probably am. Um, but uh, like I said, yeah, I, you know, that's how you learn by making mistakes. That's what I always used to tell my students. Don't be afraid to make a mistake because that's how you learn. And hopefully you won't make that mistake the second time around. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. And then I'll show you uh, a little close up of it. All right, here is the first coat of paint, and you can see the relief on uh, that the glue gun has created. Okay, so I am going to let that dry and then put another coat on again. All right, so here is after coat two, uh, and it's going to need another coat. And it's 12.30 a.m., so I think I'm going to call it a night, and I will continue in the morning. All right, so there you go. It, I painted it. It has three coats of paint on it. And uh, it's that, this is what's called relief uh, because it's actually raised. And um, I, don't, I was kind of surprised. It came out pretty good for my first try. I was going to add color to it. But I decided not to. I, I think it'll just uh, cheapen it out. Uh, so, and for the plans that I have in this area, uh, it'll go better with what I'm doing. Let me take a close up for you. Okay, so you see how the hot glue, I just followed the drawing and it made that uh, raised area. Anyway, okay, so that's this project and on to my next one. All right, so my next project is this right here. I have this, um, and <clears throat> I've used it in the past for Christmas, uh, but the mirror is cracked in there, so I have to take the mirror out. And I'm thinking I'd like it more for fall. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be painting because I actually kind of like the colors that it has in it. It has the burgundies and the blues and the greens and whatnot. Uh, and, I think I'm going to try to make it kind of look like a pumpkin patch. Here, let me see what I'm going to do. The first thing is take that mirror out. Okay, so I removed the mirror and then I went online. I googled Happy Fall and I wanted to see what uh, kind of script I wanted to write up here. So I found this script and I just freehand copied it from, from the uh, image. All right, so there's one coat of um, Happy Fall that I put up there. I'm going to have to go over it again because it's kind of splotchy. All right, I might add a little orange to it too. So I think it's a little bit too red. Now in this opening where the mirror was, I'm going to try to create a full scene. So the first thing I did was I went up in the attic and I got a piece of uh, this, uh, this green grass carpet and I'm going to make like a little hill over here. I'm going to staple it using a heavy duty staple gun in the back. So I put that in. I made it kind of look like a little hill 
And I didn't lay it flat. I wanted it to look, you know, bumpy like the ground. All right, I'm going to incorporate these things that I just found up in the attic. I'm going to put this scarecrow in. He came from something else. He's kind of wobbly. Uh, but I'm going to get him in there to stay nice and s uh, solid. And I have uh, five of these. Well, I had more of them, but I have five. They have the clip, but I'm not going to show the clip. I'm going to hot glue them on those hills over there. I have this one branch here that I had was just thrown in a box somewhere. I'm going to cut it up and see if I can use it as part of a tree. And I'm going to use these leaves hanging down. So I'm going to try to arrange that. And I'm not going to bore you how I do it. I'm just going to do it and then I'll show you. I uh, added in that the couple of branches right there. I just hot glued them to the back of this frame right here. And next day I think I'm going to start layering in some pumpkins. I put the pumpkins in and uh, some of them I actually cut in half just so that I had more pumpkins and also because for them to fit behind that fence. So uh, those were the next things to go in and I put the scarecrow over in this corner. Next, I intertwined some leaves. They were like a little garland. Uh, I had two little pieces, so I intertwined them on those branches right there to make it look like the tree was, the leaves are changing color. And I'm just gonna finish it up by scattering some leaves here and there. Okay, and there you go. So there's my little full scene that I made from this broken mirrored uh, country wall art that I had that was just sitting in the closet because of the broken mirror and um, I think came out pretty cute. So I hope you enjoyed this little video with my two projects getting ready for my fall decorating in 2020. As always, love hearing from you. Drop me a comment, subscribe, look for me on Facebook at Designs by Joe. That's one word, Designs by and then Joe. And on Instagram, I just started one, but I really don't know what I'm doing. It's designs by underscore Joe. So I uh, hope everybody's having a good day and I'll be back with another project in a couple of days. Okay, everybody, take care. Bye-bye. Stay well.